catch a glimpse of the Ohio River this weekend, it might look frozen, but don't expect anything like 1978 anytime soon. Nine on your side's Evan Millward is live there now with how a deep freeze impacts business on the water. Evan. Well, Tanya, I can tell you, we really haven't seen any action on the river in the last hour, hour and a half or so. That's because a lot of the barges and river boats even now are made of steel. That means they can cut through ice, especially when it's as thin as this. Actually, being on the river in the wintertime is, is really quite nice. That's easy to say from the shore, but if anyone would know, it's Alan Bernstein, owner of B&B River Boats. But you, you see it's cleared up almost all the way across the river from this from this standpoint. From the air, Chopper 9 shows just how much of the Ohio was covered today, but by night, most of it was gone. Certainly tonight, you would expect some ice to form here, and uh, in the morning, it could be pretty much uh, frozen across like it was this morning. If you're looking for sites like these from 1978, I think it was three weeks of below zero temperatures, and we had two blizzards in the middle of that. Yeah, it was it was a nasty winter. Well, don't hold your breath. That makes this week look tame. Number one, we'd have to have the cold, cold weather. Uh, number two, uh, we pump a lot of warm water back into the river today that we didn't do back then. By Friday night, so much of the river had cleared up, even the ducks were back in. Bernstein says his biggest concern when it's this cold is his people. Falling in this kind of uh, water and this temperature uh, a person can't live very long. It's um, it's actually a matter of minutes. So he'll just enjoy the view from the shore. We have a beautiful city to see, and nice you can job. see behind me, it's a beautiful skyline. Absolutely beautiful. This is a pretty nice skyline, isn't it? B&B Riverboats doesn't have any cruises scheduled this weekend anyway. Not that it matters because the river temperature, the water temperature is hovering about 40 degrees. So if you want to see any serious ice, temperatures are going to have to come down a lot farther. And I know we made it all week without any frozen references, especially uh, in that piece. Tanya <clears throat> might be a little disappointed. All I have to say to you, lady, is, hey, the cold never bothered me anyway. We're live along the Ohio <laughs> River. Coming we in. I'm Evan. Almost. Nine on your side. Evan, we 